Hey, so uh, I made up a couple of extra Grotto One hats here. And I uh, actually sent the first one to my buddy, the Diesel Stop. Sent it to him in an old shoebox there. And this uh, lettering, it's actually like embroidered on there. It's kind of like sewn on. Thought that turned out pretty nice. And uh, every once in a while I get people asking about uh, Grotto One stickers. So uh, I made up a couple extra of these too. And uh, this is like a two-piece design. The uh, the face could be separated from the name if you want to. And I'll show you how that turned out. I put the first one on my cabinet here. So it turned out pretty good. Hey, so I uh, got myself a bit of a drag slick dilemma going on here. Uh, I ordered two new slicks from Jags about two weeks ago. And uh, the shipping company lost one of them. And today is Wednesday. Saturday I want to go racing. So I still don't have my uh, tires. So apparently Friday I'm supposed to have a pair of new ones and uh, that's a good thing because these things are like pretty old already and uh, they start to lose their traction just with age. Even just sitting around uh, they uh, end up becoming uh, you know less effective and actually dangerous to use in time. But uh, I want to show you guys something. Uh, so Saturday when I go to the track I want to try something new. I've got this GoPro right here. And uh, this is the, with a suction cup mount. And uh, so what I'm going to do, I call this my victim cam. So it's going to be uh, facing the guy beside me. And uh, so uh, if I beat him, then, uh, you know, we get uh, a bit of a better uh, look at what's going on uh, with that car. But, you know, of course, if, if he beats me, well, I'll have my other uh, GoPro on my helmet. And then, you know, we'll see him taking off on me. And, and then I'm the victim. But... Uh, so I thought uh, that was going to turn out pretty good. So I want to install a second fuel pressure regulator on my car. Right now there's only one and its primary purpose is to deliver the correct fuel pressure to the carburetor. And I've got that set at about seven and a half pounds. But it's really a little bit high for uh, the nitrous system. But till now I've only run like very low levels of horsepower. Like I add like maybe the max 150 with the nitrous. So what I want to do is I want to add another uh, fuel pressure regulator out over here, one that's specific just for the nitrous uh, plate system, and it'll drop the pressure to five pounds before it feeds into the uh, nitrous plate. So we're going to have a look at some gauges now. So as I start bumping up the horsepower levels in the nitrous system, it's more and more important that I know exactly how much pressure the uh, fuel is on the nitrous side. So this is the little gauge that I want to put onto that new regulator. And I want to make sure that this gauge is accurate. So what I've done here is I've rigged up three gauges together. And uh, this is an autometer gauge, fuel pressure. And uh, this is a little Holly fuel pressure gauge. I've used these before. And uh, here's another one. This is uh, like one of those liquid filled, uh, sort of like a gel in there uh, gauges. Also autometer and this is a Procomp. So all three of these gauges are linked together and then uh, so they all get the same amount of pressure and I just want to know that they all show the same reading and that way I'm uh, confident that I can trust this little one that I want to use. So I'm going to add some air pressure into this end here. This is one of those fittings that I would find uh, like on my rim to add air pressure to the tire. So I'll be able to put a couple of pounds of pressure in this whole apparatus and all three of these gauges should show the same amount of pressure. If they don't, I know one of them is lying to me or two of them or maybe they're all lying, but if they all show the same, then uh, this little gauge that I want to use, I'm pretty confident that it's got a correct reading. So I didn't put uh, hose clamps on here and stuff. I'm just putting a couple of pounds of pressure in there. I'm pretty sure it's not going to blow apart on me, but uh, I'll find out. So here's my air tank. I've already aired it right down, so I'll show you what I got for pressure in there. So I'm right at six pounds of pressure in the tank, so I'm going to transfer that now to my fancy rubber uh, fuel gauge manifold here. Okay, I'm going to show you guys what I got here. So it's pretty close. Just glad it's not, uh, you know, one or two pounds out or something really damaging like that. So at least I know now kind of uh, where this gauge is at, you know. I really needed to know that.